It's November 2nd. Back here in my woods here. And these deer have absolutely been running. My father was on the back porch actually and said he saw two nice bucks just running these does. I don't think the does are ready. But it doesn't mean I couldn't put out some scent. I got some special golden ostrus from the Tiffany and Lee commercial. They sold it to me. So we're going to see if that works. I'm pretty excited today. I'm hunting by myself. And hopefully we can get some good, good film today. Bait our son now in Burlington. We're both riding solo. So hopefully we get it done. Flexstone. Here about ten minutes. I'll try that again, but this time I added a little bit of rattling. Last time I was here and I rattled him. It was about a week ago. I rattled him a little four-pointer. He came in all big and bad. But hopefully, we just need something. We need that to happen again, but a lot bigger mass. It's that little buck again. As soon as I grunted, he came right in. I'm looking. It's a bigger buck. He's still freaking tiny. Oh, please square off. This would be sweet. You don't want no part of it. It's just two spikes. Actually, no, I think one's a four pointer. We just need him to be about four years older. And we could have had a winner. Could have had a shot there. He was ten, five yards, five yards away from my stand. He's over to the right now. I guess he's eating. I can't really see him anymore. But I've been texting Badar this morning to see if he's up. He better freaking be up hunting. Because he's missing some good action. I was hoping they would spar off. That would have been awesome. That would have been sweet. But, I'm gonna give a little bit of time, let them bucks clear out. Try some rattling, see if we can actually get some big boys. Some big boys, I wanna make some noise here. Man, a decent buck. I don't know if he was a shooter. I'll have to go back and look at the film. He came in like a bad out of hell. His nose was to the ground. He came over to the left of me. Whoa. It is going down right now. <laughs> there is so much action going around. I tried to snort and wheeze at him, grind at him. I couldn't get him to stop. Third, back at the same spot I was yesterday. <clears throat> Still feeling a little bit under the weather, but it's 
the best time to be, be in, the, in the woods right now. So I'm gonna tough it out. I'm gonna make this short and sweet because I already, because I hear some deer moving up, up above me. So hopefully we can get another one on camera. Hopefully we can get a, a buck down, get a kill. So just stay tuned. All right, y'all, it's November 7th, Sunday. First off, I want to give out a shout out to Tom Smith football team, three-time PAC conference championship. That's the way to go. Proud of you guys. Anyways, back at it again here. I got a funnel that I'm sitting in with a bedding area to my right and a bedding area to my left. And in front of me, they've got the food source. It's open woods, a bunch of acorn trees. In the back of me, I have a creek bottom, so I really like this funnel. This is the same funnel last year. My dad killed a nice 11 pointer with a dual brow tines. I'm just going to sit in here, and it's pretty quiet. I haven't really hunted it. I don't think I've hunted it at all this year. Nobody has. So I'm going to get down in here and uh, try to make some noise, do a little bit of rally, do a little bit of calling, see if I can get one in to, to come stroll by. My father's hunting the same spot that I was hunting earlier this week. Um, so it's good to see him out. Well, it's about 8.30, 8.40. The only action I've seen so far is I've seen the biggest coyote I've ever seen on a show anywhere. Right at daylight. And then I had a, a smaller buck, probably about an eight-pointer. Yeah, it wasn't very big. He was a yearling, a nice up-and-comer. Probably around like 8 o'clock. And then... Just had yeah, another coyote. I have never seen a coyote hunting, scouting, nothing. And today I've seen two. It might have been the same one. I tried calling and getting him back. I was going to shoot him, but couldn't get him back. 